Namaskaram, my name is Ridham Sharma and you're watching One World News. Today we have with us special guest Dr. Rajesh Bhardwaj. Firstly, thank you so much sir for giving us this opportunity. Thank you so much for having me here. Okay sir, if you want to tell our audience about yourself. I am uh, Dr. Major Bhardwaj, um, ex-army person. I joined the army in 1982 after graduating from the Armed Forces Medical College in Pune. I served in the army for about 15 years and um, in that um, I was not just a desk job uh, army person. I was involved in um, high altitude warfare in Siachen Glacier. I was also part of the IPKF in Jaffna where I was uh, part of the team that was taking care of battle casualties. And apart from that, I did my post-graduation and my MBBS both from AFMC Pune and my diploma in ENT from Nagpur. Thank you so much, sir. That was great. Also, sir, you just said you are from army background. How did that help you here? See, the army is a great uh, institution, first of all. It's um, one of the few institutions that our country and our countrymen believe in. Uh, army men and army persons now serve in uh, very, very hostile areas, uh, in border areas, in deserts, in jungles, in forests, and in extremely cold climate like on Siachen Glacier and in the Himalayas. This instills in them a sense of brotherhood. It instills in them discipline. It instills in them a sense of loyalty and integrity. And these are values if you carry with you in any part of your life. If you are well disciplined, you wake up at the right time in the morning, you take care of your exercise, you eat healthy food and you have integrity which the army teaches you. If you are punctual in your meetings, if you dress up well like the army teaches you, it is a drill in the army that you cannot go for the first parade without having shaved. So you are always well groomed, well dressed, you are respectful towards your seniors because that is what the army culture teaches you. And so all the good values that the army has are good values for human beings to inculcate and that definitely helps you in your civilian life. Okay sir, that was great. Also sir, why you choose like, chose like medicine and like your early life if you want to talk about that part of your life? Well, that's an interesting question because you know, during our days, it was uh, doctor, engineer, doctor, engineer. And um, fortunately, I used to study or we used to work hard. And um, I have had biology and mathematics. So I actually qualified for IIT Delhi. I had already booked my hostel room in IIT Delhi after having qualified. And then I had also qualified then in AFMC. So we had a discussion, my parents, my brother and I. And it was finally decided amongst all of us together that it is a good thing to be a doctor and doctors make meaningful uh, contribution to people's lives and then I chose to become a doctor. So instead of joining IIT Delhi, I went to AFMC and became a doctor. Okay. And um, then med first happened. Talk about it. Yeah. So when I left the army, obviously we are an outsider. You're in a big city like Delhi. You're an outsider. There are people here who have been born and brought up here, who have relatives and friends here, who grew up here, they know the whole neighborhood. I was a rank outsider. I came in with no contacts and uh, with no support system in Delhi. And so for this, I'm eternally grateful to my wife and to my family. They were a great source of support and my wife actively took care and does and has been taking care of most of the management parts of the center. So the division of labor has been, I take care of the professional and medical part. And she has the entire administration and management and the growth and the planning and including one of the most important things, the finance, the staff, uh, HR and management of people. So it has been a collaborative effort, uh, met first ENT center between my wife Ritu and I. And it has been an interesting journey. It is more than 25 years old, continuously running. And I'm happy to say uh, we have served our, uh, our, our patients well. We have tried our best to be approachable. We have uh, gained in knowledge and tried to pass on that knowledge to our patients so that they get the best benefit out of their medical consultations and their ENT problems when they come to our center. You just said you had spent here 25 years. So if there are any best memories of you here? 
the best memory of course has been my uh, son was born when we started the center just a, a few months after that my son was born uh, that is of course a good memory my children studied over here so it was a very uh, pleasant task to take them to the school bring them back from school attend to all their functions and their extracurricular activities so i think uh, for a parent or for grown ups now the most uh, important joy the best joy has always been their children so i think bringing up the children in this very nice environment that we have over here was a source of joy and it was uh, a great journey and uh, we really enjoyed every moment of our trip you uh, you are an ent specialist so if you are uh, f- uh, if you want to tell our views about okay. viewers about that and what the, what are the basic hygiene or basic things that can they do in their daily life so ent as we when i was doing my mbbs ent was just ear nose and throat it was largely related to tonsils and adenoids and simple things like that but i would like to inform our viewers as well as all of us that ent now has become a very big speciality it is known as from dura to pleura in the sense uh, ent surgeons now operate on the skull base they operate on tumors inside the brain they are very very skilled in their endoscopic surgeries they have approached a lot of areas and um, from uh, neck swellings to complicated sinus issues to ro- using robots to tackling cancers and in a uh, lot of skull based procedures ent specialists are very highly trained and are performing well the cochlear implant is a great innovation which has allowed deaf people who are completely deaf to hear so that children who are completely deaf can be implanted and go to normal schools ent as a specialty has grown a lot and we are happy to have been part of that growth and as far as uh, our advice for the viewers currently of course it is the bad air quality and we always advise them if you're outside wear a mask if you're inside make sure that you have and are using an effective and a good air purifier that the later part of the day is safer than the morning if you want to do uh, some fitness routine and that uh, you must get yourself vaccinated as and when required because a lot of ent disease is particularly ent infections in children and grown ups can be prevented by taking your annual vaccines as and when required and um, generally uh, topically as and when which time of the year there are various ent problems and we come out with some information and some guidelines for our patients regarding those so you had such a great experience working and of course army and then doing uh, practicing medical here uh what is one suggestion or advice or learning you have learned from your life that you uh, want to give to our viewers audience i think the most important thing and obviously you have to say things that you believe in and more importantly that you practice yourself and the most important thing to my mind has been that if you are there to do something give it your best effort because uh, patients come in um, they are in trouble they are depressed they are anxious they want to know it is our duty to guide our patients to be nice to them to communicate with them to hand hold them in their times of need and to be readily available as and when they have some questions and want to know more about their illness we should give them the best possible advice after having read adequately and updating your information and always do the best thing for your patient because that is the most important reason for being a doctor my knowledge is of no use if i cannot use that knowledge to help my patient thank you so much sir it was great uh, stay tuned for more such videos press the bell icon to never miss a video from one world news